And for the past couple of weeks, I've begun each show with two questions. One, how in the fresh hell is this election close, or is it? And two, if Trump loses next week, will Trumpism die? Further to my first question, a new ABC Ipsos poll found that 49% of Americans believe Donald Trump is a fascist. That should be good news. The bad news, however, 8% of those who think he's a fascist support him anyway. You hear that sound way off in the distance, kind of like a, a windy wailing sound as if it were voices crying out from the past? Sounds an awful lot to me, like those voices are coming from 1930s Germany. And in this election, you are not just voters, you are skilled surgeons, you are oncologists, and you have a chance to expunge the cancer that has been eating this country alive from the inside out for the past nine years. And after nine years of needing therapy, you now have a chance to be chemotherapy. If you are a patriot who truly loves this country, you know what you need to do. You know what your country commands of you. You know what your democracy demands of you. And it's not a matter of politics, policies, or loyalty to your party. It's a matter of loyalty to your country. And as such, you simply cannot, cannot put Donald Trump back in the White House. And it's not a matter of partisanship. It is a matter of survival. It's a matter of patriotism. Patriotism to what this country can remain and not to what it could become. As JFK once so historically said, ask what you can do for your country. And that's much easier now than back then because today you already know the answer. As one meme I saw over the weekend said, let the world know you're in a committed relationship, vote. Next Tuesday is our ultimate test as a freedom and democracy loving people. And as is always the case with tests, we will either pass or we will fail. And the consequences if we fail will be much worse than summer school. 